Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild! In the last episode, we checked out the Trial of the Sword Challenge that we could take on. I'm gonna get struck by lightning so hard, and I don't have any... anything to switch to, really. Okay. Switch to that, and what weapon do we have equipped currently? Frostblade, we don't really have any wooden weapons. Oh. Just hope that's not electric. Ah, oh, it's electric. Okay, look at that. Um, we'll just remove it. Oh, please, no. Well, and this leads me into what we were going to talk about today, which is some other DLC items that we can access now. One of them being this chest that is right next to the shrine on the wall. This will give us the Nintendo Switch shirt that is located here. Next, we're going to be wanting to go to the... Uh, Amenon Rune or Rune Shrine. I can't. I can't English. Let's be honest. I'm I'm not capable of Englishing correctly. Anyway, we're gonna want to fast travel to this one because there are a total of three treasures on the Great Plateau waiting for us because of the DLC items. So honestly, you don't need the DLC. I don't think. Um, it just gives you some nice little bonuses. Um, compared to the rest of the game. This is one of those times where I feel like the DLC is okay because it adds a little bit. It's not taking away from the original story at all. So, for example, that one just gave us a neat little shirt. This one here... Gives us a ruby. Not bad. Let's go ahead and uh, use Magnesis, by the way. We'll pop open a few of these boxes. We got a roasted base. Also... Oh my god, I actually set the grass on fire. It's fun to watch, actually. And let's see if there's anything in here for us. There should, hopefully is. That was weak. And then the lightning decides to redirect somewhere else. So we got some arrows and apple and... Oh yeah, now this is getting struck on the by lightning in the water. This is actually fun. I like how this episode is like, here, have lightning. Have lightning for the entire episode, maybe. Possibly. We'll find out. Alright, last one we're going to want to go and find is going to be up here at the uh, Cryosis Shrine. The one where we got the Cryosis at. And this one, I'm, I can't quite remember where it's going to be at, so you'll have to excuse me. Also, what's really neat is we're getting... I think I've said this before too, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. And it's really surprising to see how far we've come on this. I mean, just in this series alone, there have been a lot of um, changes, I guess, made to the format for the videos. And it's not even just the uh, like the actual format of them, like itself. Like the recordings themselves have stayed pretty much the same, but like the art style and like the the uh, the uh, bell card or the, the yeah the bell card at the beginning of every episode. That's now changed. It's got a sound effect. It's got a little drawing to go around with it. The end cards have changed. So if you guys hadn't noticed in last week's video, the, the end card has changed a little bit. Also, is that still going to get struck by lightning? I'm kind of I'm concerned. Why is it going to get struck by lightning? It's snowing. I didn't know lightning could happen in snow. Well, that's good to know. Anyway. Um, but yeah, a lot of things have definitely changed about at least, like, the formatting for these videos as we've gone along. Hey everyone, it's Future Thown here, interrupting Past Thown, because Past Thown doesn't know how to talk. What I'm trying to say is, I've actually done a lot of changes to the series as it's gone through, so we've now got multiple audio tracks and OBS so that we can record all my audio, so my audio, game audio, anyone else's audio, all at the same time. We've updated the bell at the beginning of the video, we've updated the end card. A lot of things have changed and evolved around this series, and I think that's highly important. Anyway, back to the uh, past me. I, I, I know we're... I know there is a thing. It's called side quests. Side quests. Oh, shrine. Those are shrines. Side quests. Okay. Um, next thing I want to go over after is the EX teleportation rumors. So rumor has it that the tool allows you to instantly travel to wherever you've placed it. Apparently, South Akala Stable has a copy of Super or Super Rumor Mill EX, which details some of the rumors about this rare item. Let's go ahead and track this. Okay, and let's travel here. I guess... Have I not been to this stable? That would be really surprising if I haven't been there yet. See, sometimes I do lose my mind. 
but sometimes I remember exactly what I wanted to do for the episode. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. I'm not an insane driver. You are. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and, I guess, locate a stable. Anytime you want to load. Cheese it. Mmm, Cheez Its. Hashtag not sponsored. Wish I was sponsored by Cheez Its. I'd eat Cheez Its all day. Delicious. Okay. So now, where are we going from? It's literally just right here. How have I not discovered this? I just kind of pass it by? I must have. Oh, this is not the call of stable. Okay. So what we need to do is come up to this book and read it. So, Super Rumor Mill EX, Volume 2, read. Uh, Tyrese here, no matter where I go, my love for rumors inevitably follows. Don't you make it a point to dig up rumors while traveling? In any case, today's topic of discussion is the dream of teleportation. Apparently, there was once an ancient medallion that could instantly teleport you to where and whenever you, or wherever you placed it. What's more, this wondrous item may still be somewhere out there, just waiting to be scooped up. I must say, it sounds like the perfect item for travelers, adventurers, and rumor lovers alike. I hear the treasure chest containing it, the tool is located beneath a labyrinth in North Akala. Is it true or just a beautiful dream? I'll let you decide for yourself, dear reader. Tracer's recommendation? Five stars. So, first thing that we're going to want to do is actually make a stop by the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. We haven't been here in quite a while, actually. I think maybe we glanced at it for a little bit and then left, basically, like once. And I think that was it. So we're going to go ahead and head there, and we're going to be saddling up with some supplies. All right, back here at the Akala Tech Lab. Let's go ahead and open up the door. And what we're going to want to go ahead and do... Cherry is safely back to work. All, the, all that's left for you is to destroy the Calamity. By the way, did you need something for me? Um, Cherry, Cherry, this is an ancient oven. It's a machine I made to create ancient soldier gear. Isn't she adorable? Hmm? My first love, she shares the name of my first love, you see, my wife, isn't uh, isn't as crazy about her as I am. Yes, when I call her Cherry, my wife gets angry and throws things, that's why I call her the Ancient Oven now. Uh, goodbye, bye-bye, okay. So if we talk to Cherry here, hey, hey, beep, familiar name missing. Insert materials and rupees. We can actually get some ancient gear. Right, I don't have enough money. Uh, I do want one or two of these. Um, we could try... <laughs> we could try to get some ancient arrows. You know what? Thanks for your time. Come again, bloop. Familiar name missing. Why don't we go ahead and... Hmm. Let's go down to Kakariko Village. Let's visit one of the stores, sell some of our gear, and then we'll come back. And... I'll meet you back here, actually, when I'm going to buy some stuff. All right, here we go. We're back at the Akala Lab. I definitely have a lot less stuff in my uh, in my inventory, but I do have enough money to buy literally all this armor, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go and make the exchange for this. Exchanging, beep, 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 beep. Results available, beep. I'm going to also get the Ancient Curtlass. And the ancient grave. Insufficient materials. I need more ancient gears? Okay, well, that's going to have to do for now. Um, next thing we're going to want to get is probably some ancient arrows. Yeah, let's go ahead and make the exchange. I'm going to exchange twice. Also, the sounds of money going away. Delicious. Okay. So the reason that we're actually switching out for all this gear is because we're going to go destroy some stuff and it's going to be expensive. Okay. So I'm going to put on... I kind of actually would have wished I would have bought the pants instead of like either the helm or the shirt. Because the shirt lets me see what enemy's health is. Um, so let's do this. Let's go and organize. So let's go ahead with the helm. Let's go ahead with that. We look pretty awesome. Five, five, five. Okay, so this is going to be our best pants to wear as well. Also, Link, you look interesting. Actually, hold on. I want to check out something. Four and four. We could technically wear this if we wanted to. It wouldn't complete the armor set, but we don't currently get any bonuses for it anyway. So, 
We will come back after this, and we'll come back for the Ancient Greaves, because we might as well. Let's be honest. So what we need to do is we need to head back up to this labyrinth that we've been at before. So I'll meet you there. Alright, the part I've been excited for. Totally excited. Not totally terrified at all. Is going down back into this hole, which is where we're going to need to go to get the medallion that we're looking for. Okay. So I know we're kind of... Well, we're not wasting energy. We're kind of like... We're scouting a little bit. How far... I know... Oh, I hate this place. Oh, there are no pillars to hide behind. Okay. So we have to be careful because a guardian that we don't think is active could be active down here. And I think... Is that what we're heading for? No, it's not. Okay. But we do have to be careful because any of these guardians could be active that we're not aware of. Okay. So I'm going to try and just block us so only one can see me. So we got one. And we're really trying to avoid using Daruk's protection. I guess I should mention that as well. Okay, and... Not what I meant to do, but that works. I suppose. Okay, so again, we're being super cautious here. Super, super cautious. Remember, we're trying not to get our faces laser beamed off. I mean, as much as I love getting my face laser beamed off, it's not really that healthy for you. Okay, so that's all. So far, all three have been deflected successfully. Okay, and... Okay, Daruk had to deflect that one for us. That's fine. So let's go ahead. What we're going to want to do is grab all these ancient parts that we can. Just because we're here anyway. Might as well. Let's keep going. Okay, there's the chest that we're going after. But I want to get all these parts. Now, of course, we do risk running into one that is not quite dead. But that is fine. We're also going to want to search all these ones. I have a feeling that one over there is still up in the corner. Let's not waste a good arrow, though. Let's... Eh. I'd rather, you know, dink it with a regular arrow and get it back than waste it. You know, it's gonna really suck though, is if, um, as soon as I grab this, more reactivate. Well, let's go and open this up. And we've got the travel medallion. This mysterious tool was made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and registering current location as the travel gate. Okay, that... Okay, I'll be honest, the banner kind of scared me there when it went off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this room... One guardian at a time. I do think we killed all the active ones. I have a good feeling about that, but I'm still being super cautious. Which makes me, of course, super jumpy, which is hilarious. Um, about just walking up to an active guardian and be like, Hey, give me your parts. Like, I have a feeling this guy's still active. He has legs. Hey, look at that! He is. It's a walker? Um. That's interesting. I didn't think there was going to be a walking or an active guardian down here. Especially since he didn't activate when when we fought the other ones. So you'd think it would have been a little bit more Awake in that regards. Okay. Hey, buddy boy. Hey, pay attention to me. Notice me, senpai. Come on. Really? He's not gonna notice me. Come on, turn your head, you stupid guardian. You're actually kind of making me angry. Worried as soon as I like drop my guard, he's gonna laser beam me to death. Okay. That did like nothing to him, but what allows us to do is our master sword broke. That's what it allows us to do. 
we can attack his legs while he's in this weakened state. Which honestly should allow us to get more parts, which is kind of nice. Um, should probably stop using that one. Let's use the Guardian Sword Plus. Yeah, look at that. Just boom, no legs for him anymore. Wow, once you cut off all his legs, they actually become super weak. Because remember, I, I I believe I hit it in the eye before. Or I, hit, I got a critical hit on it. And that didn't do a whole lot of damage. That one did. Okay, so I'm assuming the ones with the legs could still be the active ones. These ones that don't have, like, any legs at all attached to them, they're definitely going to be deactivated, dead, decrepted, torn down, not no longer working. Was that one missing a leg before? When I shot it in the face with an arrow, did it just lose it? Yeah, like this one. I have my suspicions, but... Huh. Huh. You know, it's really bad that they, they basically encourage you to walk up to these guardians face first and go, Hey, got any items? The one in the corner's definitely got to be active still. You know, we've kind of gone over half this room, which is kind of what I want to do. I want to get as many of these ancient items as we can. Okay, future me, I know you're gonna hate this, but can we please do an instant replay of what just happened? I'm pretty sure I just saw a guardian leg twitch when I when it loaded in. That was actually super creepy. I'm pretty sure that guardian right there is alive, because I'm pretty sure I saw it move. Like like you know when stuff like pops in? I'm pretty sure it did that. I guess because you can see how well its legs are positioned. You know what? I think I can actually shoot this thing in the eye. Wow. I... I, I still want... Hey, uh... Yeah, future me still still do that... The rewind. Because that looks super weird. I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure I caught a pop-in moment, which is kind of fun. Okay, so what's really nice about this medallion, though, is if we needed to go back to a certain place that wasn't close to a shrine, or, you know, something along those lines, we could use it to get back. Which is really nice. Okay, I'm starting to notice that if they have any other legs down, like this guy, that has a leg down, it's not gonna be active. Now watch, it's gonna be active, because I said that. Because so I came up with a theory, a game theory. Lol, I'm funny, I'm hilarious, everyone loved me. Um, let's go ahead and... I think there's only a few more that we can loot. I think you're the last one, you don't have any legs, so I don't have to worry about you. And I already loot. Alright. Let's go back to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Let's buy our last piece of armor. And let's basically call it a day. Man, whew. I am tired. It's only like, but ah, it's 4.20. It's only 4 in the afternoon, but I am incredibly tired. I don't think I slept very well. And that happens. So actually, hmm, speaking of not sleeping very well, uh, some of you probably may have noticed that I didn't post videos over the last two weeks for the most part. And the reason kind of for that is I just wasn't feeling up to my same production value, I guess, that I normally do. I felt like I, I couldn't make a video that would be worth worthy to you guys watching it. Alright, with that, and looks like we have the full set of Guardian Armor. Or Ancient Armor. This actually looks really cool. We look like we're... We are a, uh... We look like we're a Guardian. Huh. It's actually pretty cool. Alright, so what else are we gonna do in this episode? You know, we could go more towards Central Hyrule. I feel like there's a bit more for us to explore there, but I know there's a place I want to get, and it's a place I want to get because it's got nice things. Actually, do these show... Are these staircases, or are they just pillars? 
Let's see, there's a bridge. Actually, I do want to get back to the sacred ground ruins again. Because I noticed something when I was editing that I totally missed. And we'll show off how the medallion works. Because we can. Wolflink, if your Sheikah sensor picks up a signal, Wolflink will lead you to its source. That's actually kind of neat. So actually, since we're going to be walking here for a bit, um, why don't we go ahead and actually summon Wolflink? Um, I'll go and I'll fly down, activate Amiibo, and uh, summon him. Why not? Because, you know, I only record maybe two episodes a day at a time. So... It does give me a little bit of time to react. Now, where are we headed for? We're headed for straight down there, I believe. Uh, let's see. Whoop. Yep, we are. Okay. Oh, fudge. I forgot these guys were alive again. That's fine. He'll miss. Watch, he doesn't miss. Only time. P hello. All right. This is looking pretty good. Uh, now, there is going to be a Guardian, I think, ne near this, because we their Blood Moon happened since then, so it's going to be respawned. So let's go ahead and switch this over to Amiibo. Well, thank you, we'll activate it, and... Okay, the AR, the reader is in a different spot. I guess I should have been paying more attention. Alright, let's go Wolf Link. Now, our Wolf Link's only got four hearts, because... The wolf link that I have here, um, I have not gotten very far in Twilight Princess with. Be well, since I guess the last time I registered him. Now, I don't think he attacks stuff for us. Well, maybe he might. But it's still nice having a bit of a companion around. He can sprint with us, which is really cool. This is actually really cool looking. So, I, I don't think I've actually ever mentioned it, but Twilight Princess has got to be my favorite Legend of Zelda game. And of course, because I, I'm a furry and I like wolves, you know, it's because it's got a wolf link in it. Pretty cool. So we're about halfway there now. We do want to be keeping an eye out for guardians at this point. Wolf link, he's still keeping up. Actually, I can hear him, which is nice because, you know, when he actually walks, you can hear the chain rattle. Here, I'll actually, I'll just run for a little bit. And I'll, I'll uh, beef up the audio, the game audio. Kill a bat off screen, that's good. Well, I guess uh, my plans for him. Oh, he's gonna die. Because he decided to fight the two bone monsters on his own. That's good. Oh, he teleported. Oh no, is he gonna get laser beamed? You know, actually, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to let this play out. <laughs> I'm a terrible person, but that was kind of hilarious to watch happen. Oh, great. Did you notice me? Or was it just playing dramatic music because it thinks it saw me? Okay, let's see if this works. That was my own deflect. I'm getting a lot better at these. My own deflect? And now if I screw up, Daruk's gonna protect my butt anyway. And that was also my deflect. So we're getting pretty good at taking down Guardians. As long as it's one at a time, we can effectively take them down for the most part. I'll just take all your goodies. Also, I like how Wolf Link's just like, I'm gonna stand here and let this thing laser beam me to death. Okay. So what was it, you may be asking, that I noticed off-screen? Well, what I noticed is... I... Uh, there it is. Is there a chest in the water? Maybe I didn't notice this before. Maybe as I was watching something and I noticed it. Yeah, there's armor here. Or a chest. I believe it's armor. It's an EX. Yeah, phantom armor. Look at that. It's phantom. So anyway, how we can use this is say we wanted to use this as a jumping off point to go over here across the bridge and get into the castle. Because we might actually be doing that soon rather than late sooner rather than later, because I want something out of there. Uh, so if we go into our start menu, you can come in here, place the medallion, and now it's here. We have a jump spot. So now if we wanted to leave and come back, we totally could. And I think that's neat. 
Anyway, guys, I think we should probably go ahead and call it here for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button if you'd like to see more. Go ahead and subscribe. Either way, my name is Mithdowan, and I will see you guys in the next video. And hopefully I won't die to this, gar this guardian. Or him, because he's dead. Alright, see you guys then.